Hey guys, so really quickly before we jump into anything, I just want to take a moment to um, make a, a statement about like some conscious awareness um, just about the world around us because that's something that's very important to Nikki and I to really look at like the issues that are going on in the world and the community and to do our part to hopefully try and at least raise awareness and maybe potentially raise some, um, some funds for it as well. So I'm sure as many of you know, um, Australia is suffering with just devastating wildfires, like unimaginable wild wildfires. And um, a lot of their wildlife is dying because of it. Um, obviously the the citizens and the people who live there, they're also suffering, but the wildlife itself is, um, it's very rich in Australia and we are losing rapidly a lot of um, very uh, important species to us. Um, koala bears may be on the, uh, the endangered species list after this. So that being said, there's a lot of people out there who are risking their lives and their safety and um, they're taking incredible steps and um, attempts to to control these fires, to contain those fires and to make them um, manageable is because right now they're not. So that being said, uh, Nikki has done a lot of research and he's found an organization that directly donates to the firefighters and 100% of the proceeds goes directly to them to help them fight the fires and to help them save whatever wildlife they can and preserve the um, the environment there as much as they can. If you would like to donate, do not feel pressure to at all. It's just something that we wanted to give you guys the option to since he has done the research and found an organization that is going to be giving the proceeds to the right place. Because I know with charities, sometimes you may donate and you're not really, you're not really sure where your money is going. So if you want to to donate then we really appreciate it it is um, going to be linked into the bottom of the channel and uh, yeah other than that stay tuned for content hey guys welcome back to dark angel beauty happy new year i know we've posted a couple times in the new year but we have been severely lagging i deeply apologize for that I have no excuse other than it's just been a really crazy time for us. Um, we have actually actively started uh, working to buy a house. So that's been a nightmare of a process. Um, we got a little bit of a hiccup today. I found a property we really like and we were kind of hoping for that. So the hiccup may prevent us from getting that, but we have high hopes for um, being able to fix that. So we'll see. Uh, it's a stressful process, let me tell you. Find yourself a great realtor and a great mortgage broker and just like let them tell you what to do because I would be absolutely lost without them. Uh, same thing, I have a very nice luxury of the fact that my dad is a general contractor and he's been doing real estate and building for his entire life so he can give us some insight into it and he can walk through properties and tell me if it's worth it or not. So it has been an absolute nightmare. We are hoping to have a house soon. We may, with the hiccup, have to wait a little bit longer than I wanted to, than we both wanted to, but you know what? It is what it is. And so I apologize, but that's really been getting most of our attention right now so that I, it's just been crazy. I apologize, it doesn't make it any better, but it, it, we're here now. So hello, hello, happy new year. I don't even, I, for, I forgot how to film. It's been like 15 days of just no filming. And I'm like, or longer than that, but like, it's just, uh, what planet am I on? I don't even know anymore. Anyway, um, the, the first thing, before we even jump into today's video, I do want to point out my super lovely hat. I have had a wonderful, wonderful working relationship with Fur Talk. They are a hat designing company. They are sold on Amazon. They are sold directly on their website as well. I just cannot say enough great things about this company. They reached out to us right before Christmas and they were like, hey, we really want to send you one of our new fedoras, which is what I'm currently wearing right now. They have like 12 different shades, uh, different colors and stuff you can get. I went with like a nice deep brown because I felt like it kind of went with almost anything. And um, just have been like the, the most loving and wonderful and attentive like communication between the two of us that I've ever dealt with in my whole life. Like it's just been so nice. Yeah, they've got awesome products. Their hats are relatively affordable. I think they're selling the fedora for like $20, maybe more like 25. But if you are interested in picking it up, we do have a promo code for you. It is DA Beauty. That is capital D, capital A, and then all lowercase beauty. And you can buy it on Amazon. They will take great care of you. They have a lot of really cool options and they have multiple different hats. In fact, we're gonna film like six videos today just to try and catch up. They're all hauls, but um, we uh, I have another hat from Fur Talk that you'll see in one of the other videos. So make sure that that gets, uh, a little notice when uh, when it gets posted. And you can do that by subscribing to the page and hitting the notification bell. So yeah, I think I covered all my bases before we jump into the main part of today, which is this month's BoxyCharm. 
Don't know how to feel about it. From what I saw on their posting about it on Instagram and everything, I was gonna, I was kind of excited about the box. And then somebody, one of our subscribers actually commented and said, you're probably gonna be disappointed with this month. And I was like, oh no, oh no. So we'll see what's gonna happen here. Um, but yeah, so this is BoxyCharm. If you don't know about BoxyCharm, it is a monthly subscription box. I believe it is $25 a month now. We did price lock ourselves in when they made that change last year and we actually paid for an entire year. So we will be getting it for the next like, I don't know, it was 12 months at the time, but I think we've already gotten like three months worth. So like eight more months, nine more months, something like that. But this is the box. I've been a subscriber for a very long time and uh, I loved them for a long time and then they started really angering me. And uh, December's box was great. So let's hope for a good January box, yeah. But uh, without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right on into this. I believe they always say that the retail value of the standard box is $125, but I could be wrong with that. The theme this month is breaking the ice. Kind of love the, like, the little card and the whole concept of that. I'm a big fan of, um, but I don't know anything about what I have received in this box. So let's just jump in. A whole lot of things are happening right now in my mind. I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out. Okay, so the first thing we have is an Avant Shea Butter Rice Bran Panthenol Polydisony Age Radiance Eight Hour Radiance Renewal Sleeping Mask. I get masks in every one of my subscription boxes. It's no matter, like no matter what. And I don't dislike masks. I'm not a person who hates masks. I use them, I like them. We do skincare routine videos, but I just am so damn sick of getting masks if I'm being 100% honest. I've not heard of Avant. I'm sure that they are a nice company. I just have never used them before. Um, but it basically says apply a thin layer to clean, dry skin, allow it to absorb into the skin, and then you don't need to wash it off. Um, and then you just go to sleep in it. So kind of a cool mask idea. I've gotten some from BoxyCharm that are sleep masks that I absolutely love. They totally make a difference. I can wash my face at night, put it on, and then wake up with a different skin in the morning. I have hopes that this may be it. But like I said, it's just, the reason I hesitated is that it seems like this is going to be a box filled with masks and I am kind of over that. So yeah. So mask number one, moving along. Next thing we have is from Skin & Co, giant size bottle. So yeah, so this is a polishing, micro exfoliating, truffle face gommage. I don't know what a face gommage is. I don't know what it is. Uh, directions, apply a liberal amount of truffle therapy face gommage over face and neck, gently massage with cir circular moments, movements, I can read. Uh, for one to two minutes, avoid eye area, remove with a damp, lukewarm towel. So it's a, it's a, it's a cleanser. It's a cleanser is what it is, like an exfoliating cleanser. All right, so we've got this, and I was gonna say, I think the camera cut off. This is a giant, I'm not gonna, this is a giant bottle. This is a nice size bottle. This is like a deluxe sample, if I'm being honest. I don't know what they would charge for this, but this is what I would, you're being a little bit exaggerating calling this full size, if I'm being 100% honest. Two, two cleansing items. Oh, oh. Oh, do you see that on camera? Oh, okay. So I got somebody's uh, discarded Dr. Brandt retinol eye cream. Like Dr. Brandt, I like retinol eye creams. I don't like the fact that three of the five products in this have been skincare. Uh, not my favorite. Um, don't like the fact that this has clearly been opened and used by someone else. All right, okay. I'm gonna say that this actually for me is a good saving grace. I did get a nice giant size of the Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with castor oil. I know black mascaras are a dime a dozen in these subscription boxes, but actually Grande Cosmetics, I received my very first uh, mascara from BoxyCharm last year. It is one of my favorite mascaras. I love it, I go to it. It's one of those like, if I don't wanna have to really fight with my eyelashes and I just wanna like quick apply and be able to go, I can go to this one and know that it is a good mascara. So that's a huge saving grace for me, especially since I have priced out what it is to buy them because that one, mine is coming to an end and I was looking at replacing it. And they're pretty expensive. They're like, I think like 30 to $40, I think, which is very high for mascaras. I mean, sure the price sheet will tell us exactly what it is, but that's actually to me, it kind of makes the box worth it. Cause with the price lock, I think we paid like 19 for the box. So that's kind of a really good one. And I actually saved the best for last. It is the Too Faced Diamond Light Diamond Fire Highlighter. 
I actually have like the Nikki gave me for Christmas two years ago, the diamond eyeshadow palette and I really like it. Too Faced has been getting kind of into some trouble lately on the interwebs. So I'm not gonna even talk about that kind of shade, but um, yeah, nice little product. As long as it's not broken, which it does not appear to be. And it is a really pretty highlighter, just a nice good size, obviously a full size, but it's a giant highlighter in terms of the pan size. So I would say this itself is probably also like a $30 product. I would say that probably, they probably sell it for like 29. I had to guess. And um, that being said, I would say those two are the saving graces. The rest of this stuff, I probably would never have cared about ever receiving in my life, if I'm being honest. If you're a skincare person, you probably would be excited with it. I am personally a skincare person sometimes, but most of the time I sleep in my makeup and I wake up and I touch it up. So uh, my skin is kind of like an afterthought, if I'm being 100% honest. That being said, we're gonna check out the retail value of this box. I'm gonna tell you, I promise whatever they say that it is worth is not what I would have paid for it. The only two things I would ever buy on my own would be these two things. So that means the most that I would say this retail value would be worth would be like 50 bucks. But I'm sure they're gonna say it's worth like 185. So Nikki, you got your handy dandy calculator out. It's very nice. I just like shout out numbers and then Nikki adds them up and then he puts it up on the screen. So it's, 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 a, good, it's a good system. So let's see, we'll start with, we'll go in the order that I went with. So the Avant Skincare 8 Hour Radiance Renewal Sleeping Mask. Jesus, I need strength for this one. Tell me how much you think this one. Tell me how much you think this one's worth. $200. $107. $107 for this. $107 for this. Y'all, we are literally looking at, at helping design our own custom like house. And there are things like, like granite countertops cost like $900 and you're telling me that this thing is worth $107. Nope, that's what I think about that. Nope, I just yeeted that thing right across the room. Anyway, all right, scared the dog, sorry dog. I'm not gonna recover from that one, okay. Okay, I went next with this one, okay. This one, this uh, very fancy, fancily named cleanser uh, is a retail value of $28. So that's still high in my opinion, more reasonable than 107. The uh, Dr. Brandt Skincare Retinol Cream, which was clearly used by someone before it was gifted to me was $55. So that's about standard for Dr. Brandt. Uh, it seems, may seem high, but it, it is about standard. Um, the Grande Cosmetics Mascara is actually only 25. So I don't know what I was pricing out before, but uh, for some reason like 40 was sticking out in my head. So that's lower than I was expecting. And then the Too Faced Cosmetic, why am I holding it like this? Ah, better. Uh, the Too Faced Cosmetics Diamond Light Highlighter is retailed at $36. So that's about average as well. $251, no, no, no. I wanted to believe that this one would not be as bad of what people had kind of tried to prepare me for, but I was wrong. I was, um, I'm very offended that they gave me that tiny little bottle and they said that that was $107. I just like, I don't pay that please. They don't care if they, they get me. I, I can't imagine using it and being like, yes, it's changed my life enough to be worth $107. Overall, I feel like we should make a, like a boxy charm rating system. So like, what should I, what should I call it? What should we do instead of stars? We should do something clever. Four swims. <laughs> Four swims. <laughs> Anybody who watches SNL hopefully appreciates that. Um, well, in the swim, in the, in the swim rating category, I'm giving this two swims. Two swims out of, out of six. Two out of six swims. Yikes. All right, so it's been a weird video, y'all. Sorry, it's like I forgot how to film. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this very interesting video. I did not enjoy my boxy charm, not really when I consider everything that was gifted to me. But that being said, I did get to share with you guys uh, the stresses of buying a house, not in detail, but if you guys are interested in hearing a video about that, I'm sure Nikki and I would love to sit down and talk about it because it's literally all we're thinking about right now. It's an incredibly stressful process. There's a lot to consider. I've had like four or five panic attacks a day. So it's just great. It's just, it's just really fun. But it's, it's something that maybe you guys would be 
interested in talking about maybe what we're looking for in a house and what we kind of have talked about and what we are thinking in terms of all of that. So if you are interested in that kind of information, then please leave us an, uh, like a little comment or even like direct message us on like Instagram or Facebook or something like that. And just let us know like, hey, we'd really like to see a video like that. It definitely helps us to kind of I get a more idea of like what kind of content you're looking for. Um, you also got to hear about Fur Talk. Don't forget DA Beauty and that will be linked in the bio. I'm sure Nikki's always great about doing that. He may even do one of those cool graphics where it like pops up on the screen. It's like DA Beauty. So if you want to get 15% off of any of the awesome Fur Talk hats that they have on Amazon or on their website, then that will help get you that. And yeah, other than that, please subscribe. I said it already, but just do that, please. It will really help us. And then yeah, like the video. And uh, other than that, have a great day and stay girly with a dark twist.